Hey guys, welcome back. Hope you're all having a fantastic day. I know that I sure am, and today I'm going to be showing you guys an awesome flanking strategy that you can use on practically any map. So if you guys do enjoy, remember to leave a like down below without further ado. Let's get right into the video. So this strategy is very simple to do, and it really doesn't take that much time, but it does work out to help you in the end. So I'm going to show you guys a couple examples in this video, and if you guys want to see more examples of this, make sure to leave a like down below, and I'll try to get another flanking strategy video out as soon as possible. So for our first flanking strategy, we're going to be taking a trip over to Oregon. You guys want to go down to the classroom and hit out the bottom portion of this barricade. You want to make sure you only hit it two times, because if you do hit it three times, the barricade will fall. You're then going to want to go up to the dorms area, and then go over to this window, and hit out the bottom two pieces like you did on the classroom window. This flanking route is going to work for you if anybody is in the lobby area, because what you want to do is go on your cameras and wait until you see a group of people, or if you just want to go after one person in the lobby area, you can then go and vault out of the dorm's window, and then immediately vault into the classroom. Now obviously you could hit out both of the barricades completely, it wouldn't make anything faster, but if it does cure your OCD with this, I guess go for it. The reason why I like to keep both barricades there is because then it's a little more discreet, people won't see what you're trying to do because both of the barricades from their perspective will still be intact. That's why instead of hitting out middle parts of the barricade, I recommended hitting out the parts on the wall so from the outside people can't tell that the barricades have been tampered with. With each one of these spots I am going to recommend an objective to use when doing these. For this one either dorms or the basement could work. This is because if you're playing dorms and you want to quickly get out of there to go and flank on the stairs, you could easily just jump out of that window, go in the classroom, and then you'll be right in the lobby. Or if you are playing it as a basement, a lot of people will be looking down that hatch or going down the stairs when time starts to run out. So you could easily go and do that, especially if you're playing caviar, this could be a really good spot for cav. You could go and jump out that window into the other one and then easily be at the basement stairs. Now Oregon is a really good map for these flanking routes, that's why our second one is also going to be taking place on this map. Our second flank route is going to be taking place in the watchtower, so it would probably work the best if you are playing bomb in this objective. But what you're going to want to do for this one is go to the bottom of the watchtower and go and hit out part of this window like you've seen me do before, then head up to the top of the watchtower and you can pick between the two windows up on that second level. There's really not a difference in time between the two. One of them does have a barrier by it, and the other one you do have to step on part of the roof. So they're pretty equal. Just as an example, let's say somebody is on those stairs and you're stuck back in that corner. If you vault through that window and into the other one, you can easily be back in time before you do get spotted. And if you're quick enough, in the event that you are spotted, you probably will only be spotted for about half a second. In this next clip, you guys can see I do demonstrate the other window, and like I've said before, there really isn't a difference in time. The only difference between the two is that on the second one you don't take fall damage and on the first one you do, but with the first one you do have that bookshelf blocking the window. So it's really up to you. Do you want to be covered by a bookshelf and take a little bit of fall damage, or do you want to sprint towards the window and have the chance of getting shot? In the end, I'd rather take the dresser and bookshelf window. And then our third and final flank row is going to be taking place on the map clubhouse. This one is going to be for when you're playing the bar as an objective. So the first step doing this is going into the bar and hitting out the bottom portion of this window. So then you can end up vaulting through it. You then want to go up to the gym and do the same thing. Go on the camera and then once you see somebody or a group of people in the bar, jump out the gym window, quickly turn around, and vault through the bar window. Now if you look at the subtitles by my HUD, you can see I was just barely detected. I did hesitate right when I jumped out the window to actually fall down, but if you guys do this in a very quick, single motion, you should be able to get in there without being detected. And if you take as much time as I do, in the end, it's not really going to matter because you will still be able to get in there and get some kills. Like I said at the beginning of this video, there's a lot more flank routes in Siege, so if you guys do want to see some more and maybe some other tips and tricks videos on the channel, make sure to go and leave a like down below and I'll try to get one out as soon as possible. But yeah guys, that's going to do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed and if you did, make sure to go and leave a like down below. Also, if you guys want to see more daily Siege content just like this, make sure to go and click that subscribe button. But yeah guys, that's going to do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you all next time. Peace.